Hi everyone, welcome back to Vedic Life Coaching. Thank you so much for joining me. Now in today's episode, we're going to take a look at the elements and we're going to start by taking a look at the fire element. Why? Because that's the first one that we see in a chart. Okay, so I'm going to draw a sidereal Vedic chart and we're going to explore the element of fire. I think fire might be my favorite of the elements actually because there's so much great stuff in here. There's creativity, there's romance, performance, art, action, the word now, the word born. I've written down different words to kind of trigger me but I haven't written any script as such for today's episode and that's very important that I don't write a script because we're dealing with fire and fire is all about that live performance, what, what comes in the moment, what comes in the now. Okay, so I've got my sidereal Vedic chart drawn up here and in your chart you'll want to be looking at either these houses, the first, the fifth or the ninth, or you'll want to be looking at Aries, Leo or Sagittarius, wherever they may fall in your chart, okay? Could, these signs could fall somewhere else. But if you've got planets in these signs, if you've got planets in these houses, then you have got the fire element in your life. So that's very exciting. So I'm gonna draw a little fire symbol. That's my fire symbol there. <laughs> there we go. Uh, and yeah, we are looking at fire. So first house fire. Why? Why is it the first house? Why is it the first thing that we see? Well, that's where you're born, in that first house. And that's really important when we look at the birth of a child. We do look at, we certainly look at this first house for you, but your child is born here in the fifth and your grandchild is born here in the ninth right? So it's the birth. It's that flame. If we take a look at some fire in real life, I've got my matches. We're just gonna... Oh, oh it broke. I'll get another one. <laughs> you can tell this is a live performance. It has to be. It's fire, right? There we go. So we've got our flame. We've got our beautiful flame. I hope you can see this flame easily. But that flame is you. That's your life. And as you move around the chart, it's that flame that moves around the chart. And that flame is you. Okay? And what does it do? It eats up the live wood. It's never the same flame. And what does it leave behind? It leaves behind this charred matter. Okay, so I've blown out the, the flame. So we've extinguished the flame. The flame is no more. It was a short life. But look at that. It was an interesting life, right? This person has, if it's a person, well, whatever, this, this being that was the flame lived this much and had some live wood yet to go, right? There was still stuff that, you know, this flame had to do. Still some live wood left. Now, if we try to relight this, what's gone here, this charred matter, the past, okay? So this is the past. And what's this? This is the future, right? Now, in order to, to keep going down here, this flame, in order to keep eating up this bit of earth, right? I'm talking in, in terms of elements. So I'm talking in terms of fire, earth, uh, air and water. Okay, that's all I'm talking about. We're talking about the elements. So, you know, you need air to keep consuming. You need air to keep going here. But what's left here? That's earth and that's the past. You can't light that. That's gone. That's dead. You cannot light it again. Right, so when we contemplate a flame, we're looking at you. We're looking at the life that is you, that little flame as it moves around the chart, you know, um, as it has its different experiences, that flame that is you is always on. 
And when we think about fire, it's, it's so interesting to really sit and contemplate the fire element. Um, I've had lots of thoughts about this over the last couple of days. So this thing about that you're born, right, and that your child is born. This is a really key house, the fifth house, when we're looking at childbirth, right? Because you've got this mixture of earth and water, say for example, to create a baby, right? And you think about pottery. When the potter creates their creation, their sculpture, it's earth and water, you know, and possibly, I guess, a bit of air if the wheel is spinning, right? You have those three elements and you have your beautiful creation. Where do you put it? You put it in a kiln. And in that kiln, I'm pretty sure it's called a kiln, K-I-L-N. I'll look that up. But that's here, this fifth house. And this is what makes the baby, right? So we've got that phrase, you know, you've got a bun in the oven. Well, that's actually a very astrologically astute phrase. It's, it's perfect. It matches the astrology brilliantly. So we've got this concept of birth, things being born, right? What else happens here? Well, I was thinking about this thing of, I was thinking about this concept in relation to that David Hawkins lovely diagram, the uh, B, have and the do, right? So let's take a look at this. Be, whoops, have, no, be, do, have. My apologies. My head is everywhere today. And to top it off, I can't seem to clean this whiteboard. It's so terrible. Okay, you can tell this is a live performance. I'm leaving my mistakes in. All right, let's do this. B. Do. Have. You think about it, that little flame, right? That beautiful flame is being. It's being and it's being in the now. The flame is also action. Why is the flame action? And it's, it's, it's in that being dimension, very much so. It's also action, very much. So the do element, action. Why action? Because action can only happen in the now. That's the only place where action can happen. You're either mowing the lawn or you're not mowing the lawn, right? I might have an idea that I'll mow the lawn tomorrow, but that's an idea. That's air, that's the air element. That's a thought. And I started thinking about this concept of have because I thought, well, you know, have is very kind of water, um, earth and air. I thought these fit really nicely with the have element here. Why is that? Because all of these are storage. You think about it, water stores emotions. And we know that from tarot. I know that from tarot anyway, because I've been studying tarot lately. So there's emotions in water. Earth, earth is stuff, right? When we write something down, when we record something, that's very much earth. Uh, when we keep things, collections, when we have stuff, stuff, right? Air, air is also a have thing quite a bit because um, it's thoughts. Thought is what information is what gets stored in air. We've got the Akashic records, right? And I started thinking that, well, maybe this flame, maybe this flame doesn't have much to do with the have side of things. I thought there's no storage in a flame, is there? It's just always burning things up right? It just burns. So, you know, it's really interesting. I thought, well, I don't think it stores much, but it does. It stores like the most important thing 
ever and that is you your soul your being right who you are in in the now where you are in the now you in the now you are that flame that's alive it's so fascinating right so that is your soul and I then started thinking about so back to the diagram I started thinking about this concept of okay well what's what's there in the now and I'll tell you what's there in the now it's you and yes it's the power of now it's Eckhart Tolle's beautiful power of now which we all love so much but what is that power why is it a power and that's because that's the little bit of God that's that's in you that is where that is okay it's that little bit of God that living God that's what the power of now is you get in touch with the God that's in you and that's what happens here in the first house in the fifth house this is where the rishis are the rishis who connect directly with God and they bring that wisdom these are the people who don't particularly need books they go direct uh, I think it was Sasha Stone who talked about the fact that he hasn't read a book for 20 years you know he gets all his knowledge direct from people that's what he's doing he's doing that from here now what about this light here this fire here this is where we study God this is where we have religions this is also where we have science so religion will talk about God and study God and through mythology and stories and all that kind of thing we look at God science is here to measure God science measures everything science measures the temperature of a fire and how fire works and how all these things work so this is all completely fascinating stuff the other thing about fire is that it is very much about enlightenment so as we see we've got teachers here we've got rishis here in the fifth house and we've got teachers here in the ninth they enlighten us so what happens when you're with a really good teacher how are we doing for time oh we're doing okay that's good um, when you've got a really good teacher right what you've got is hang on this is the teacher okay and this teacher illuminates your mind and then look at that there's an equality as well this one's flame does not diminish and each are equally lit although that's this is not the best example of that but just pretend that they're both perfectly equally lit i'll blow them out but you get what i'm saying right a good teacher illuminates your mind a good teacher will um, give you a bit of their fire like they light you up right they're passionate about their subject and they make you equally passionate about that subject how many times have you seen school children they love a subject not because they love that subject but just because they connect with the teacher and they love the teacher and they therefore then end up loving the subject but it's because they're attracted to the light of the person right so light and fire and all this stuff is so completely fascinating I'll have a little look at the other words I jotted down because I've been contemplating this on the weekend and I wrote down little words here and there but definitely I mean this concept of the now I think I'll keep this video focused on the now and action right that you know you can only do things in the now um, that concept of being born and also the concept of God right that living God that's within you that's where it is so I hope this has been an interesting little video I've still got a couple more things to say about fire I'm going to do a couple more videos about this topic so stick around on the channel you'll see more and then in the coming weeks I'll also be looking at earth air and water as well I think that's going to be a lot of fun so hopefully 
this has been some good food for thought and I look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you.